Welcome There's to Doug our, Kramer. To our man cave. Holy cow, Doug. What do you have? Um, so this space has been something that kept us occupied during the lockdown two years ago. That's my villain corner. That's my villain corner. I get all our favorite villains. That is crazy, yeah. man. billiard table and the Marvel and DC collections over there with a few of the robots. Wow. Yeah. I'm a big bust collector, so um, I usually get them from Queen Studios and Infinity Studios. So these are actually like artwork. They have certificates that come with it. So that's my excuse to my wife. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jessica, I see something that looks familiar. What is that right there? Kind of. Those are La Scala's, but they're oh, clips. Oh, La Scala! Yeah. That's, that's, that's. And because of you, I got the RS2. Yeah, check it's these all, out, it's man. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. I am a bad influence on a lot of people's budgets. Check this out, man. You have got an incredibly massive but gorgeous bust collection. Yeah, they're hyper realistic. They're actually like skin. Oh my goodness. Check out Wonder Woman over there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How old is he? 23. Now. So Jacob <laughs> loves this kind of stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. So he's 23 years old. Marvel fan? Oh yeah. Marvel fan. He does it. He has a TikTok channel that he does movie reviews. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. That's something that I like. These are actually one of my favorite ones, the Joaquin Phoenix. And then if you look here at the back if you remember the scene where he was doing the makeup. No yeah. way. That is phenomenal. Yeah. And then Check if you look if you look out. here, that's the scene on the staircase. You have got to be kidding me, right by there. It's gonna be hard to see. Yeah. And the eyes. Wow. Look at the eyes. That's real. That looks like it's real eyes. Glass eyes. It's eerie. That is gorgeous. That's eerie. <laughs> and my favorite joker of all time. He's yes. a legend. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That is legendary right there. Man. And my, my, my favorite bus is actually this girl right here. So Alita. Yes. Yes. So the battle angel. Look at that eyes. It's crazy. <laughs> that is so cool, man. And of course, Bruce, Bruce Lee. Lee. Yes. So it's so hyper realistic that they also have fingerprints. No way. Yeah. <laughs> and they put stubbles also on his face. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's. Part of our that man is, cave. Look home. at the Thanos. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. That's life size. Yeah, he's yeah. quite huge. He's massive. Like I'm, I'm six five, about two sixty, <laughs> and this guy is probably six hundred pounds or even more. <laughs> oh my! Imagine goodness. the struggle of us bringing, setting this up and reinforcing it, bringing it up there. It was about probably the equivalent of you bringing down the JTR subwoofers, oh right? My gosh, yes. <laughs> You're right. The struggle wow. was real when we were bringing down those speakers. Wow, that is super cool. Oh, and cool. this one was signed by Tom Hiddleston in the Comic Con in London. Tom Hiddleston right there. Check he signed that the out. Certificate. I love it. When we moved here three years ago, one of my uh, gifts for them along with my wife was a, a playroom with a ball pit. So they have their own little, <laughs> we call it Kidzuna. I love it. So it's a two level, <laughs> two level play oh, area for goodness. them. Yeah. That is rocking, man. Yeah, so they so much fun. They play, even our uh, my kids' cousins. Wow. They come here. It's like their favorite hangout. Yeah, they kids wouldn't want to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they were they, they they never get bored here in the house. And so if this was the this is our main basement, the man cave, and uh, Wayne was able to shape and level up my home theater here. So this is the home theater here. Let's check it out. Yeah. I, I was asking Wayne a while ago, so from Autoria Home Theater Designs, I um, was I, I was thinking, did I discover Youth Man first or saw him before you or you did? Well, I think you saw his JDR speaker. Yeah. I mean, featuring. Uh, but way before yeah. that, I actually saw Michael here. His, 
uh, his YouTube channel is Youthman. And FYI, I believe this guy so much, he's a bad influence. <laughs> but everything that he posted, I pretty much bought. So <laughs> I had my, my, my clip system. And then when he said that the SVS, SPB16 Ultra, Ultra were good, I got that. I try to source it out here in the Philippines, right. and then he goes on and promotes and yeah. puts it on his system. His yeah. uh, uh, he he went to the warehouse for JTR. That is correct. And when I saw it, I said, I said to myself, Michael, I just bought the SBS. <laughs> and so what I did was I, I messaged Michael here, and I was able to get in contact through Jeff to Jeff and J JTR, and I was able to ocean freight everything. Right. And obviously with JTR speakers, it's all handmade, so it's like a production date. Uh, so it took me like four months for, for everything to get completed and then to ship another three months. And then this guy here, when I wanted to calibrate my home theater, the first thing I, I said, yeah, my, my home theater actually was already calibrated. Then he asked me, what kind of calibration? And I didn't know what to answer. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. So I guess it was not calibrated to his standards. Now Wayne is you're, you're, you're a professional in this in this field. What do you call that kind of system calibration? Is there any specific? Yeah, it's, it's professional calibrations or yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> all of the wavelengths and all of that. I used to see that in in, in, in uh, Youthman's page, but then I discovered that there's probably only one guy here in the Philippines who can do that for home theaters. Mm. So I liked my home theater before, but it completely changed. Like I did an intro a while ago. And my home theater, when we moved here, was very different. It was very different. My, my speakers were a bit on top, remember, Wayne? Yeah. And they had to level it down to get the, you know, the, whatever, the, the space, to get more, the, the spatial, you know, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, all of those terms. And this guy did it, and he converted my home theater to be, um, without being too braggy, um, he made the first high resolution, high spatial home theater in the country here, correct? Yes, yeah, and you're probably sure. going to make more. So, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so if you guys are looking to level up your home theater or probably better from scratch, this guy is the guy, Wayne Pamposa in Otoriu. That's the guy. And if you want to check out the latest products, home theater stuff, that's this guy right here. That's the youth man. Check him out on YouTube. So. Without further ado, let's go check out the home theater. So, here it is. I have seen many videos. Oh my goodness, it's, brother. Yeah, it's, so, I understand that a lot of people, including Wayne, like to hide the speakers. Yeah. But for me, it's like a flex. Like, <laughs> I, need, I need to show the speakers. So, this is, uh, what's our system here, Wayne? 12 point. 4.8 sir. 12, 4 .8, yeah. 12 speakers on the bed layer. Bed layer, and then I have four subwoofers. Uh, we have uh, four 18 inch in the front, and then two at the back, yeah, yeah. and then eight Atmos speakers. Complete JTR system, and calibrated by Philippines one and only Wayne Pamposa. Man, so, this yeah. is phenomenal. Your Trino processor. Oh there. yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I had I had a Denon processor, and he's like, "Sir, if you want to level up your your home theater, you need you need the Mount Everest of all processors, the Trinov." Yeah. And then he's actually probably the only guy who can calibrate everything through um, through Trinov, right? Uh, here in, in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. So We're you're you're like licensed by by yeah. them, or you're allowed by them, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. No one dares to stay in front. <laughs> That's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. So if there was actually an improvement, like what I wanted to do because of your influence, it's probably I'd take out the front seats and then I'd put my center speaker at the top and hide it. So go with an AT screen. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much like yours where everything's behind the screen. So right? are you saying I'm influencing you once you again? You are. You are. <laughs> you guys are. So... Um, but what can we do? I mean, that's home theater. I would say it's always the end game, but I think for me, this is the end game yeah. of home theaters. This is incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> and so can we get a shot of you like right by your front speakers? Yeah, sure. so it's Is your, how tall are you? I'm six foot five, about 250, 260. And if I can there you go. kind of get that there. Wow. <laughs> the struggle was real trying to get these babies down. 
Incredible. So we've got 12 bed layer. You have eight Atmos speakers? Yeah, eight. And then we have four, four subwoofers. subwoofers. Yeah. But six drivers. Yeah. Six, six drivers. Yeah. drivers. Yeah. And we used uh, since, actually, um, I think I saw D-Sonic on your page. Okay. Yeah. And that's where I messaged uh, the supplier. I was able to ship it here. I feel this bad guy. for you guys because the shipping on stuff that's this heavy is a fortune. Oh yeah, my goodness. So, man. but it was worth it. Like for me, it, it wouldn't be worth it if you had it flown in. Yeah. But ocean, ocean freight would be, would be best. Right. So should we fire her up? I am totally ready to fire, fire it up. Fire her up. So one of my favorite uh, scenes when it comes to demos uh, is Hacksaw Ridge. So first Sorry. is the, the time where they soften up the Japanese with the, the Navy firing up all their bombs to get a feel of the base. Now, I, I'm, I'm not conservative with my base, guys, because <laughs> Wayne was saying, sir, you really like your bass that loud? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I, like to, I don't like to hear it. I like to feel it, right? I got to experience being shot up like that. I'm with you. Yeah, and then the next scene would be the silence of them walking through the ridge and you can hear the nuances around yeah. and then Details. you know all the the bullets start firing around would this be one of your when you tour home theater tours mm -hmm. what would be their demo so nine times out of ten it's almost always ready player one ready player one yeah the race yeah almost okay. everybody does that one okay um man there's so many but but that definitely is like almost everybody's. So okay. to be able to hear some different ones, okay, I like that. Okay, then we're gonna fire Ex her up. Excited okay. about that. So yeah, I don't have any of the equipment here. My equipment's actually at the back. It's hidden. So I, the home theater's um, so over here. Um, this is where I keep all of my movies. I rarely stream. Uh, I have my 4K copies here, so I get them from Amazon. Sure. Yeah. And then I have a breaker here, which Wayne set up. My Trina, wow. my D Sonics, and then I have a UPS rack. here, uninterrupted power supply to protect my Trina. So, this is very crucial for a lot of equipment to protect them from surge. I have a big gen set, so there's during blackouts or brownouts, it's the influx of in and in, sure. in and out is dangerous for your equipment. Sure. So. So and there's got. no place I can probably have my speakers fixed here. <laughs> for sure. Second. Yeah enough i love it man yeah and for me to turn on i just have to say alexa cinema on okay we really need this at our house this is comfy you can have lots of people lots of friends not only six it's very hard because now you have to choose who comes to your house then look here our seats are so close and you have stinky feet on the head so you need more room this is perfect did you design this the extra space here. So, you, no, no, this <laughs> is um, so you're not Kramer's design. So you're saying you really like Kramer's theater? Yes. Yes. Really yes. That's great. I got yeah. wifey's approval. Then you you got the go signal. Hey, yeah. let's yeah, do it. Great. Let's build a new home. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to tell him to build a new home for a while now. Hey, this may be what it takes, brother. Faith, brother. Look what look what you can have, Michael. <laughs> 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 all right, Doug, so I've heard a lot of systems. I mean, I do home theater tours all over the country in the U.S. and now in the Philippines. This is insane. Really? Man. I'm serious, <laughs> man. I've heard some killer JTR setups. You, you, I think you might have knocked somebody out. I'm not going to say who, but somebody <laughs> off the leaderboard. Whoa. <laughs> this is, oh, my no, gosh, it, I got you. I'll be honest with, approval. 
It's phenomenal. The bass in this is incredibly tight. You don't have any bass shakers, right? No, no. Yeah. Everything's just there. Oh, yeah, so everything's back. coming from the subwoofer, yeah. so that's just physical, tactile wow. bass. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We got four 18s up front, two 18s in the back. The back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you know all the detail all the detail yeah and um when i had my other subs before this yeah. the svs yeah it wasn't as full sure. and tactile as yeah. this one and um i had to tell wayne here i like my bass a bit stronger <laughs> than the reference level right and he you said okay sir okay yeah. we'll do what you want sure. right so and he said it's really it depends on the person like yeah. how loud you want or, yeah so yeah. this is how I really want to watch my movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, I, and I had the PB-16s too, and they're great subwoofers. They are. But this takes it to a whole new level, man. <laughs> yeah. A whole new level, because we're getting sub 10 hertz probably in here. Yeah. Like, so I don't know, I'm getting five numbers. hertz in my room. How, how low yeah, is it getting yeah, here? Yeah, more or less like seven or eight hertz yeah. here. That's yeah. super, super low. Yeah, so okay. you have massive explosion. It's an experience, man. It, that's exactly the word I always go for. Yeah. Like. I don't want to watch or just hear the movie. Yeah. I want to experience it. Yeah. So, and and that's part uh, part of the reason why I rarely watch in the theaters in the malls. Like, I usually wait for the copy to come out, sure. and then I watch it here. And the reason why I have a lot of seats is because I invite my family members, yeah. my my brothers, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my my kids, cousins. We all watch here, yeah. and it's it's. It's all a bonding experience sure. for us, yeah. Well, that's the whole point of this. I mean, if we were to do this just by ourselves, it's fun, yeah. but it's more fun when you get others involved right. and they get a sh chance to share yeah, the right. passion. Yeah. You got yeah, Wayne smiling fun. from ear to ear, you got me <laughs> smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> Jessica, Fine. maybe not so much. I mean, what, what did you think of the system? I, I, thought, I, I thought it was... Okay, sorry, but I thought it was better than ours. I yeah, well, duh, yeah. <laughs> duh. Yeah. I would hundred yeah. percent agree with you. Yeah, I but did not you like it? I, I could feel the vibrations and stuff. It was really nice, but um, the movie probably a little too scary for me. Okay. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, the 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 bullets just flying from all directions. Yeah. It was the reason why I'm not trying to show off the the gore, yeah. Yeah. but sure. the the separation sure. of channels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when Wayne told me that this was the the first high spatial theater in the country, yeah. I couldn't understand it. Like, what what does that mean? And I said, is it like, you know, when you have a, a, a screen and it used to be at 720p, mm -hmm. went up to 1080, and then you have 4K. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's more pixels in between. Sure. More detail. So more yeah. detail. And for high spatial. He was able to to space out all the speakers perfectly for right. for, for my hearing, yeah. and you can see that there's no hole. Right. So the when you when you're in, it's like you're in the scene. Right. Right. So when I put this as a sample, it feels like you're actually there with all the the bullets flying and the bass, and um, one of the things when my family comes here, they get so intimidated by the speakers, mm -hmm. and they're like, my ears are gonna explode. And I said, no, it's just, there's a lot of upside. Right. Like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, you don't have to push it all the way to what it's uh, capable of. Correct. But it yeah. can go the extra mile compared yeah. to the other speakers. When you need to give it the juice, man, it's yeah. there. And, and when you go to that certain level, it's not even pushing that hard right. compared to the others. So yeah. it's... For me, it's not painful in my ears. Sure. So it's, I love it. It's kind of like <laughs> it's the difference music. between... If you were to bench press, say, 200 pounds... Uh -huh really easy like you're just you could do that all day yeah. for me that'd be a struggle there you go yeah. so yeah. you've got all this headroom you've got all the amplification you need yeah. you've got yeah. more speaker than you physically need yeah. but it just handles it with ease you don't have to worry about distortion yeah. you can go as loud as you want but what's nice about the system even at a normal volume you hear all the details you yes. hear all the nuances you hear yeah. all the the intricacies in the footsteps and um, you know the shells from a uh, a rifle hitting the ground and bouncing around right mm -hmm. that's the kind of stuff that excites me yeah. when i watch a movie because i hear those little things and it just adds and kind of sucks me into the movie man yeah. it becomes more immersive yeah right sure. yeah and and i think for our ears because we want detail yeah. right sure. so yeah. the average person when they come here and i put like a streamed movie yeah 
for me, I don't like it. Like I don't, I rarely watch stream movies in my theater. Right. I Almost never. Yeah. But then when you go, because it's really compressed, compressed. Even if you go on Apple TV, it says 4K. Sure. It's really not yeah. 4K. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. even especially the sound system. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to sacrifice a certain movie I've been waiting for to stream it. I have to wait for it to come on disc to get the true yeah. Dolby Atmos, yeah. Yeah. right? Sure. And I forget the numbers, but when we when we I try to stream Maverick. Mm -hmm. No. The stream was so bad. No, yeah. but my my family's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> your system is so nice. Right. But in my head, it was a headache for yeah, me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's so much lacking punch and the subs. The my center speaker, I could, for barely me, hear. like the, the 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 voices, I I could rarely hear it. Right. Barely yeah. hear it. But then when the disc came, everything just started. Just it seemed like it was amplified to the sure. perfect level. Yeah. So yeah, like for me, when I get people on here i would i would always say don't be scared for the speakers right so, yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah so this, i i have to thank cool. this guy here okay. and this guy here jtr d sonic amps and then obviously mm -hmm. it's not a matter of just buying the stuff calibration mm -hmm. takes your sure. system to the next level mm -hmm. and he's and wayne told me before sir it's night and day difference i'm like but out of the box it sounds good in right. for my ears yep but then when he actually calibrated everything and he put the tree knob, sure. it was just, it was different. Like, yeah. It was much more cleaner. Separation of channels was much better. Mm -hmm. Sub was a lot more tight, the right? Yeah, sure, yeah. 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 And I think one thing I appreciate about Wayne is he's all about the measurements. So you mm -hmm. and I, we could put four speakers in here, subwoofers, two up front, two in the back. But if they're not calibrated, they could be actually fighting against each other. And yes. you're going to be missing bass. We're going to have nulls in your seat yeah. or nulls over here. But the yeah. purpose of calibration and a professional like Wayne is that he can go in and take measurements, dial it in with phase, um, level adjustments, all that stuff, EQ, and get you a flat frequency response. Yes. Yeah, he did that. I couldn't understand. It was it awesome. Was man. Yeah. That, was, that was incredible. I mean, and I'm not just saying this. This is, I've heard a bunch of systems. You ruin and I, I again. I'm with Jessica. I need a bigger home. <laughs> I need a bigger Me. theater room because my room is really it's pretty small. To be honest with you, and so to have speakers that are kind of separated a lot more up mm. top from the side, so there's a separation. Right. It creates a better bubble. There you go. So yeah. my side surrounds and actually rear surrounds are actually too high. But in my room, I just don't have the space to bring them down mm -hmm. because I've got a door entry that, that comes yeah, into the room. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have to have the speaker above the door. Not ideal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it is it a ground floor or yeah. is it a basement? Yeah, we don't have basements in okay. Florida because that would be an aquarium because it's all water underneath oh. us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't okay. have basements. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't have so people that have basements we get jealous of because this is this is incredible. I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah, I mean. These are the guys I look up to when it comes to home theater. Um, it's. I hope you're not gonna post any more new stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm always. Posting come on, this is this is yeah. something that I think should be end game. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm as much as possible. I think should I watch this so I video have, of Youthman? I do have a mad VR in. A VR. A mad VR. VR. Yeah. What's so, a mad VR? Well, you don't want to know because. Oh you know, my! You'll, you'll spend more money. I promise you. Oh we'll, my! We'll bring it up. Bring it's on the video here side. in the Philippines, sir. Mad VR. That's the name. It's called Mad, it's called Mad yeah. VR. Yeah. yeah. Gaming. Um, they don't no, do gaming, no. so it's just more. It's gonna take your your video, video to the next, next level. level. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's the trend of of the. It's an anomaly, I know. Yeah. It's an anomaly. It's the Mount, sir. It's the Mount Everest of this, and it's the Mount Everest of this. It's like, and then two years from now, there's a new Mount Everest of yeah. material that comes out. I'm like, come on, Wayne, come on, Michael, come on. I think the fun thing, though, about this this hobby is not necessarily about trying to reach like an end finished product. But to me, I've always encouraged people and you guys just enjoy the journey. Yeah. And it's been yeah, cool watching true. your journey, um, mm -hmm. you know, taking it to the next level, yeah. trying new things getting a professional calibrator to come in and dial it in right. You even moved your, I watched your video today where Wayne came in and he did all the acoustic treatment right. in here. Yeah. 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 Redesigned this completely, yeah. moved your speakers. You found out your speakers were in the wrong place. My speakers were that high, it's like one feet from the top. And I thought, man, it sounds good yeah. until he lowered. I said, I said, Wayne, why are you lowering my speakers? Yeah. He said, he's like, sir, when the cars are driving by, it shouldn't be on top, it should be beside you. And like. Right. 
cast that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, and it creates that separation yeah. from the top layer to yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. bed layer, yeah, right. and it just makes it more realistic. Yeah. And I like what you said, Michael, about the, the, the journey. Because yeah. when I started, I had just two speakers in front of me. That sure. was my, my home in Baguio, and I was enjoying that. And I, I enjoyed every step. And then when we built our first house, I had JBL, mm -hmm. just small standing speakers, and I was really happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we mm -hmm. moved to, to my first house, and then I got my SVS, and then moved here, got the Klipsch, the flagships, RF-73s. RF-73s, yeah. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. I sold them to get the JTRs. Sure. And just, just remembering how the step-by-step -step of making here is yeah. such a fun journey. But you enjoyed even the original part, the two-channel. Yeah. Then you enjoyed the Klipsch. It wasn't yeah. that they were junk it's just you found something even better yeah and there's always going to be something bigger and better along the way <laughs> True. there is and so i've just always encouraged people enjoy what you have right now mm -hmm. if you have the opportunity down the road to upgrade and to expand your system yeah. make it better that's great right. mm -hmm. but enjoy what you have if you have a sound bar enjoy it right now correct as later on when you can yeah. add a subwoofer to it great when you go to 5.1 great enjoy each part of that process kind of like with my children right now my son is actually having a baby, maybe like not him, but his wife, maybe next week. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a papa. Wow. And a mimi. A grandson. So yeah, wow. so we're super yeah. excited about that. But I've enjoyed the time when my kids were little. I've enjoyed it when they were in high school. Yeah. Now as my son is becoming a father. So wow. each part of that, I've enjoyed the journey. And I think that same thing applies in home theater. Home theater. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. the journey, enjoy the process and yeah. have some fun with it man right yeah, yeah i love that so that's the whole point of it you know to, just to enjoy your system yeah. yeah take it to the next level guys so yeah well cool man right. brother yeah. this has been awesome. phenomenal thank you so much for yes. opening up your awesome home Great. to my yeah. audience to your sure. audience thank you. wayne did a phenomenal job in this room man highly highly recommend you thank you awesome. thank you Oh. Check that out. Whoa! That's the next Whoa. one. It's a bust. Oh, I love it. Whoa. Even with a different cool. eye. The eye color was different. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. So they also have, that's my next one, my, my other one coming, the Mark 85. Woo. And then you have wow. um, Captain America. Nice. Where are you even going to put oh. it, sir? Let me make space. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is where he lifts. Remember that iconic yes, scene? Yes. He lifted. Yeah. That's one of the yes. scenes they went crazy on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And then cool. the last one is uh, Cap Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah. And this one. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's called Master Series. That's cool. Yeah. Maybe next year.